you, Lord. We are before you, our Creator, our Father. Before your presence under your table, that God, you speak to each of us this evening. Don't take for granted for enabling us, each of us, to come under your feet. Because we are hungry and we are thirsty. Thank you, Lord, for your servant whom you have given us as a prophet this week. Lord, as it stands between you and your people. Lord, we thank you for the word of revelation that will help us to mount up and go to the next level in our life. And this we pray, believing in a trusting. In Jesus' name, our Lord. Come on, everyone, say amen. Hallelujah. Come on, please. Hallelujah. 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 Amen. Let us appreciate the priest team. Let us appreciate the priest team. Thank you. You can have a seat. I want to welcome each of you this evening in this meeting. This is our last meeting in this place this day. But next week, we'll be here from Monday to Friday. I'll be here from Monday to Friday myself, just like last week. <laughs> and then we continue hitting the road in Jesus' name. Then the other week, we have another visitor just for lunch hour only and keep hitting the road in Jesus' name. Then April, we have another speaker all the way from Mwanza, Tanzania. And we keep hitting the Lord. What we lost in 2020, we are going to recover. Amen. Turn to a neighbor and to a neighbor. Neighbor, 2020 is not lost. And because of that, that's why we have to be hunger and thirsty for God. For those people who are for their first time or to come today, thank you so much. God bless you for having that opportunity to come and be with us in Jesus' name. May the Lord Day bless you. Amen. We are not going to stay today because I want him just to preach very briefly. Then as he's preaching, I want you to be writing the things that you'd like God to, to do for you that after the meeting we can pray for them. So as he's preaching, you can... God can give you an idea of what we want that after preaching, uh, you, when we are giving our, our offering as we are blessing, we are going to bring our offering here and uh, those papers here that we can be able to pray together. You pray for our needs and you pray for uh, and you bless him in Jesus' name. Zion Muzuri is very good to connect with the man of God because the Bible says that communicate good things with those people who communicate with you the word of God, word of God. And you people of Deliver Church, you know very well that you have to communicate with me. Good thing. See you in Hi. Kutoka hapo, we can invite our speaker to come and bring the word of God to us. Come on. Heart for Jesus, for Pastor Ongel to come and bring the word of God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Our meetings arrive from Monday to come. From Monday to today, our meetings arrive. If you're not here, you can go to the church international. Tell the church international. And then you are going to get all the messages which have been going on here. In Jesus' name. Amen. Can you say the Spirit of God is here? God is here tonight. Amen. Bishop has just said what I wanted to say. I wanted to tell those who have come in for the first time to go to our Facebook page and just get the message from the first day. Praise the name of Jesus. So that you are able to know what you have been saying. And you flow with us. Thank you so much. I want to appreciate God for the week. For what he has enabled us to do. The far we have come. Is the blessing of God. 
And tonight is a climax. Praise the name of Jesus. If you missed all the other sessions, please don't miss this. I could wish that uh, we all of us get this from the Lord. Amen. We are going to pray for your needs. This is what you will do. Get a piece of paper. We are not going to give you back the piece of paper. You write somewhere. Don't write your name. Praise the name of Jesus. Don't write your name. Just write your need. The next level you want to enter. Once we pray for those needs, we'll put in an envelope and we'll have them in the bishop's office. So you will know for sure that the battle is on a different level. Praise the name of Jesus. We don't need your name. We need your need. The level you want to enter. Praise the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. And uh, I want to assure you that God is not a liar. There is a next level for you. And we said you need to desire the next level. I don't know which level you are desiring. But my prayer is that you will get right there. Praise the name of Jesus. We started looking yesterday. We started looking at how to sustain a continuous breakthrough. We have looked at how or why you should fight for your next level. We have talked about how to fight for your next level. And now we are handling how to sustain a continuous breakthrough. We said, number one, obey the commands of the Lord. Then number two, this afternoon, we talked about, what do we talk about? Those who are with us? We talked about let God be in his place in your life. Do not allow the blessing of God to take his place in your heart. And then tonight, maybe briefly, I want to talk about be a giver. You want to sustain a continuous breakthrough in your life? Be a giver. Praise the name of Jesus. Deuteronomy chapter number 8 and verses 18. The Bible says in the New International Version, but remember the Lord your God, for it is he who gives you the ability to produce wealth. And so confirms his covenant which he swore to your ancestors as it is today. The Bible says you shall, but you, but remember. How do you remember God? Praise the name of Jesus. You remember God through giving. Now I'm remembering him. No, you remember God through your giving. I want to say, whatever you labor to produce has a very strong attachment with you. Whatever you labor to produce, either in your business, praise the name of Jesus, in your job, in whatever you do, it has a very strong attachment with you. And when you gladly present it to God through giving, it is a sure way, praise the name of Jesus, of removing it from your heart. I said in the afternoon, praise the name of Jesus, when God blesses us, there is a possibility of the blessing taking control of your heart. The best and easiest way to remove the blessing of God from your heart, that it will not control your heart, is through giving. Praise the name of Jesus. Giving to God means you value God more than what he has given you. Giving means you value God more than what he has given to you. Praise the name of Jesus. And when you give to God, you are disconnecting yourself from worshipping, from idolizing what God has given to you. Praise the name of Jesus. Now, how do you give? I want to be a bit fast and brief. How do you give? Number one, you give your tithe. Can you say tithe? Praise the name of Jesus. You give you are tied. Amen. I've discovered some people, some people are very faithful. 
in paying their tithes when the income is very small. But when the income increases, we struggle to give our tithes. But the Bible records in Leviticus 27 and verse 30 to 33. And all the tithe of the land, whether of the seed of the land or of the fruit of the tree, is the Lord's. It is holy to the Lord. If any man wants at all to redeem any of his tithes, he shall add one shall be holy to the Lord. He shall not inquire whether it is good or bad, nor shall he exchange it. And if he exchanges it at all, then put it on the one exchanged, for it shall be holy. It shall not be redeemed. God is saying there are several sources of income that we have as believers. When you start growing and going to different levels, God brings you to a places where he gives you diverse sources of income. He says the tithe from the land. He says the tithe from the heart. Praise the name of Jesus. They belong to the Lord. And he starts classifying that it could be of the grains. It could be of the fruits of the tree. Praise the name of Jesus. So from your land, there could be many uh, uh, produce or many harvests that from the produce of the land, you need to give as a tithe. It could be from the grains, from the maize, from the beans, from the whatever. It could be from the fruits, the mangoes, the avocados in Moranga. Those are the fruits from the land. The land also produces the herd. Our animals, praise the name of Jesus. They are a produce from the land and from our hearts. We need to give a tithe. Praise the name of Jesus. In other words, you tithe from your formal employment. You tithe from your businesses. You tithe from the produce of the land. Praise the name of Jesus. And then you tithe from your animals. Some people tithe from their jobs, but not from their businesses. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Others tithe from their businesses and not from their land. The Bible says God expects a tithe from all the sources of your income. From your job, from your rental facilities, from your businesses, from your land. Praise the name of Jesus. Because when you tithe, the Bible says he will rebuke. The devourer on your behalf. There is no way you can lose your breakthrough if you are a tither. Can I hear somebody say amen? amen. You are very low. I want to hear a higher gear. Can I hear somebody say amen? amen. Raise up your hand and say, Lord, I thank you for my job. Say, God, I thank you for my businesses. Say, God, I thank you for my land. I thank you for the produce that comes from my land in Jesus name. So a time has come for us to start seeing cows being brought to the church, sheep being brought to the church, chicken being brought to the church, maize being brought to the church. Hallelujah. Tithing from our rental houses, tithing from our businesses, tithing from our jobs. If we want to sustain a continuous breakthroughs in our lives. Can I hear somebody say amen? amen? Number two. Giving number two is giving your first fruits. Giving your first fruits. Praise the name of Jesus. Exodus chapter number 23. Exodus 23. From verse 14. Exodus 23 from verse 14. The Bible says, Three times you, you shall keep a, fest, a feast to me in the year. You shall keep the feast of unleavened bread. You shall eat unleavened bread seven days, as I commanded you at the time appointed in the month of Abib. For in it you came out of Egypt. None shall appear before me empty. 
and the feast of the harvest, the first fruits of your labors, which you have sown in the field, and the feast of ingatherings at the end of the year, which you have gathered in the fruit of your labors from the field. Three times in the year, all your males shall appear before the Lord. Praise the name of Jesus. I don't have time to go into those details. But you need to give your fast fruits. A fast fruit is what you produce fast from your sweat. What you produce fast from your sweat. So God expects us to set aside and give the very fast portion of what you produce. Praise the name of Jesus. So you need to determine what your fast fruit is. Your fast fruit could be your fast salary when you are employed. It could be the first money you make when you open that business. The first fruit could be the first harvest. Praise the name of Jesus. In our church, I have taught people. They are not supposed to test her maize, her beans, whether green or dry, is ready for consumption. They are not supposed to eat before they bring the first fruit. Amen. Yeah. The first fruit, the first mangoes. You don't celebrate, they are coming. No. Those are fast fruits. The first avocados of the land, of your sweat. The first fruit, you can determine your first fruit to be the first income of the day. When you get your business, the first income. And there is a certain group of people that file the first sales of the day. They dedicate it to idols. And you will find them controlling Moranga, controlling Nairobi, controlling businesses in our nation because they know about past income in the morning. If you don't know them, you will ask your neighbor after the service. Praise the name of Jesus. They value that as their first income. Amen. Praise the name of Jesus. So sometimes we give the enemy a chance to destroy what we produce because we don't give the first fruit. The Bible says in Proverbs 3 verses 9, Honor the Lord with your possessions. Proverbs 3 verse 9. Honor the Lord with your possessions and with the first fruits of all your income. The first fruits of all your incomes. Can somebody say amen? I'm showing you how to sustain a continuous breakthrough in your life. You give the first fruits, the first produce of your sweat. When you do that, you are telling God, whatever comes after this is protected. Whatever I eat from this will not affect my health. Praise the name of Jesus. I have bought animals. And when the first one was born, I dedicated it to God. There is a time I was the best in layering dairy goats in our area. Even up to date, long after I stopped doing that, people come looking for me for advice. Say fast fruits. I don't have time for those details. Another level of giving is giving of the firstborn males of your frogs. Firstborn males. Amen. Firstborn males. And also redeeming your firstborn sons. Somebody will say, Pastor, you are teaching us something we don't understand. But I'm saying, I'm showing you how to sustain. How to sustain. Amen. Continuous. You give your firstborn males. So there are people who have paid school fees with animals that belong to God. They, be, they were of God. You sold and paid school fees. You said this bull is too good. It can cost 60000 It has catered for school fees in January. Praise the name of Jesus. 
you are giving the enemy a legal ground to attack your children academically. You are giving the enemy a chance to attack your frogs. To attack your increase. You give the firstborns. I don't have time to read this. Exodus 13 from verse 1 and 2. God tells the children of Israel, because I killed the firstborn males when I delivered you from the land of captivity. Praise the name of Jesus. Now when you enter this promised land, Every firstborn male belongs to me. Let me ask you, people of Moranga, have you discovered firstborn males, firstborn sons, struggle so much in life? Even those who have made it and succeeded, they will tell you they have labored beyond what a normal person should labor. Why? We were born into families that have no understanding. Most firstborn sons are criminals. They are useless. They can't make decisions in families. Is that true? Firstborns, you will find them controlled by the lastborns. Because they belong to God. And because you don't have a, a proper understanding of redeeming your firstborn so that he can do whatever he desires to do with his life, you find that they are being fought by the devil. The devil has a direct attack. If you are a firstborn here, may the Lord deliver you from the ignorance of your parents. May the Lord give you a breakthrough in life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. So God says, all the firstborn must be given to me. You go read Exodus 13 from verse 1. Read on. Praise the name of Jesus. They belong to me. The firstborn males of animals and the firstborn Sons, they belong to me. But you give the animals as a sacrifice to me. But for your sons, you redeem them with an animal. You pay an animal for your son. So that your son can experience the favor of God. Even when Jesus was born, he was brought to the church. And an offering was given on his behalf by his, by his parents. They understood the power of a firstborn. Praise the name of Jesus. So, you give your firstborn males. They belong to God. Your firstborn sons, you dedicate them. So, you redeem them. The fourth type of giving you should do is dedication offerings. Dedication offerings. Praise the name of Jesus. I have said you give your tithe, you give your first fruits, you give your first born males, and you give dedication offerings. Amen. I have said Jesus was dedicated. Luke chapter number 2, verse 22, 24. Allow me to say something here, then we close and pray together, please. 2, 24, 22, 24. Now when the days of our purification according to the law of Moses were completed, they brought him to Jerusalem to present him to the Lord as it is written in the law of the Lord. Every male who opens the womb shall be called holy to God. Every who? Male. And to offer a sacrifice according to what is said in the law of the Lord. A pair of turtle doves and two young pigeons. So they brought him to offer him to God. Offering him to God is dedication. Praise the name of Jesus. A dedication offering is an offering given for a particular item. You give an offering to set aside an item or a person for God. Amen. Samuel was dedicated. First Samuel 1, verse 24 to 28. And when you read the story of Samuel, there was no prophet in Israel like Samuel. The Bible says none of his word fell into the ground. He was powerful. He was dedicated. Praise the name of Jesus. A dedication offering. When you buy a house, you give a dedication offering for your house before, an inhab before you inhabit. When you buy a car, you give a dedication offering for that car so that it cannot be attacked by the enemy. 
Some of you need to know the secret of dedicating even your clothes to God. Where do they come from? Who manufactured them? Who manufactured them? Where were they made? Were they made by believers? Dedication. You dedicate it to God. You say, this item belongs to me and to God. A dedication offering. Finally, because of what? I'm just mentioning. Praise the name of Jesus. The final kind of giving you need to give is called a free will offering. A free will offering. And that is the offering we always do, but we neglect most of the time the rest. Right? Tonight you will give a free will offering. What is a free will offering? It is an offering you give out of the determination of your heart. You say, today I am giving this for the work of God. I'm going to be a blessing. But the Bible says, don't give to God the rejects. Don't give to God things that are valueless. You give a free will offerings of the best that you have. Can, can you allow me to read that scripture? Then we close. Leviticus 22 verse 17. Leviticus 22 verse 17. A free will offering. Leviticus 22 verse 17. The Bible says 22 verse 17. So as the bishop says, please start writing the, your, your prayer items. Keep them write, written. Then we pray. And the Lord spoke to Moses saying, Speak to Aaron and his sons and to the children of Israel and say to them, Whatever a man of, a man of the house of Israel or of the strangers in Israel who offers his sacrifice for any of his vows or for any of his free will offerings, which they offer to the Lord as a burnt offering, you shall offer of your own free will a male without blemish from the cattle, from the sheep, and from your goats. Whatever has a defect, you shall not offer. Amen. For it shall not be acceptable on your behalf. You need to give a free will offering of the best. Amen. So you need to ask yourself, is my offering a defect? Is my offering perfect? As I give it to God, can it be acceptable? Amen. The Lord bless you. We'll meet again to dig deep into that. Five types of giving. You give your tithe. You give your first fruits. You give your firstborn males. You give a dedication offering. And you give a free will offering. You want to. You want to sustain what God has given to you. So when you give, you don't come to church. And when we say it is giving time, that is when you are checking your pocket. What remained from uh, your tuk-tuk? Or the motorbike that brought you to church. You give the best. Can we receive our vision? Please write down the level you want to enter. We want to pray with it. Let's receive our vision. To, to, to lead us in that session. Want, want. Can, you, can we raise up our hand toward pastor and to pastor that was for me so don't don't condemn yourself but you have a start don't condemn yourself you have not just started you can start as i'm speaking you are writing you are writing the next level you want to to go after that we are going to bring it here with a free will offering and then this man of God you pray for us and then we will meet in our churches on Sunday and then on Monday we will be able to meet again in this place it's very important for us to know the level that we want to go just right, just right quickly so that uh, we can be able to bring them here. And as you are bringing them here, you are bringing it with your free will offering. You are bringing it with your free will offering. You are bringing it with your free will offering. It's good to brief God for the next level. 
Where is Joro? Ile kikabu. Kende kikabu hapa. Amen. Na hii ni kitu ambaye si kitu ya kusukumwa hapana ni kitu ambaye rasma itoke katika moyoni mwako is a free will is a free will don't force yourself at all don't do it if you don't have a breakthrough in your spirit no don't do it because you cannot receive a blessing but when you do it willingly is only when you can be able to receive the blessing by that will willing willing the heart are we done thank you so you get your you get your you get your paper and you get your free will offering and then you can bring it here in jesus name you bring it here and then whenever okay you come back here and then you pray for us in jesus name through all the teaching that we have heard from monday up to today they are on facebook you can go to our facebook and you can be able to get whatever has been happening in this place lunch hour and evening amen please bring it now if you are done if you are done please offering you are offering and you are need and then we are going to pray pray for us pray for all these needs amen praise the lord this is the next level that you desire god to take you into and today we stand by the anointing in the house and by the grace that God has put in my life to call these levels to manifestation let's pray father in the name of jesus i have shared your word this week you sent me to tell your people there is a next level that you are prepared for them you told me to say you are tired with where they are and you desire them to move on to break camp and go to the next level father tonight they have written on the pieces of paper the levels they are trusting you for now i pray let these levels be manifested in the name of jesus christ let these levels manifest in the physical in the mighty name of jesus christ i stand against every power that is assigned to stop your people from penetrating in these levels right now by the anointing and the grace of god upon your servant bishop kaniru i declare today every battle is silenced right now i release victory in their lives in the name of jesus i command the Glory. opening of doors in the name for each of and jesus. every one of them i declare miracles in the name of jesus to follow 
all these dear ones yes, Lord. who have followed the teachings through the week in the name, in of, the name Jesus. of Jesus your promise to stand behind yes, your, Lord, word, your to your word to perform it yes. perform your word thank you Jesus in the lives of your people yes Lord let them know that you are alive yes Lord let them know that you are not alive yes Jesus let them know that when you speak Glory you call to do it yes Jehovah. do it on behalf of in your people of let Jesus. these levels come yes I declare divine acceleration. Yes, Lord. Speed in their lives. Yes, Lord. These levels will come quickly. Yes, Lord. Make a surprise in for the them. name of Jesus. Defy their budgets. Glory defy their plans. Hallelujah. Defy their cries. Hallelujah. And Father, do it your way. Hallelujah. That your name may be glorified. In the name of the I Lord. bless you for these levels. Yes, Jehovah. I bless you for these doors yes, Jesus. that you have opened. I bless you for the healing. Thank you, Lord. I bless you for the victory. Thank you, Jesus. May your name be glorified as you do this. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus Christ, we pray. And all of us say amen. Hey, come on, heart for Jesus. Big celebration. Amen. Thank you. Amen. This will be with us. Yours will be to share the testimony. Amen. This will remain with us. Yours is to share the testimony. We are waiting for the testimonies. In Jesus' name. Amen. Come on, another hand for Jesus. On behalf of this church, thank you so much for the way you have supported this ministry from Monday up to today. Thank you so much for sacrificing your time, sacrificing your money, so that you can be here during the lunchtime and even evening. All what you have done in this place is not in vain. According to 1 Corinthians 15 and verse number 58, it's not in vain. Please apprehend to me. May the face of God shine upon you. May all your step be ordered by the Lord. May all what you do for the Lord be rewarded of the Lord. May you continue to enjoy every revelation that you have received in this place. May you continue to enjoy the blessing that maketh this and does not add any sorrow. May the Lord continue to lift you higher and higher. May you continue to enjoy your promotion. And I declare today, you are not going down, but you are going up. May you continue to enjoy promotion that come from north, south, east, and west from God. May you continue to enjoy all the gift that God give, all the good and perfect gift that come from God. I declare you are not going to be a tail, but you are going to lead. I declare you are going to be loved. I declare favor of God upon your life. May this wicked be the best wicked ever in your life. I declare your life you never ever ever be the same again in Jesus name Amen. and the grace and the love of God and the fellowship of the Holy Spirit be with us now and forevermore Amen, Amen. heart for Jesus hallelujah tell somebody please start from somewhere God bless you. Have a good night. Dream well. Have a good weekend until Sunday and Monday in Jesus' name. Have a God bless you. Amen.